Good afternoon, welcome to Mongoose Max Hawaii. I am introducing the channel today. We got our coffee, we got our notes. How's it? It's cryptocurrency. <laughs> Go. This isn't the notes for this, this is just notes from something else. Okay, <laughs> it's, it's very exciting Fine. times in the cryptoverse. Uh, Bitcoin having is exactly add, added to the channel, is exactly. Well, since we're talking cryptocurrency bitcoin yeah. and blockchain blockchain yeah we should add that it is uh april 18th 3 p.m mm -hmm. 3 p.m okay so if there's any blockchain quotes it's going to be different and we are at sitting at uh bitcoin having is 22 hours away in 36 minutes okay so bitcoin is at what price right now it is at sixty-two thousand dollars per bitcoin <sighs> Sixty-two thousand dollars now at this time, this April date, April eighteenth, twenty twenty-four, and it's doing the having in twenty-two hours. So tomorrow, and it's gonna go from six point two five bitcoins every ten minutes mined, extracted in the whole entire world, to three point one two five bitcoins. Half the reward. Half the reward while the supply is having while the demand is growing. ETFs okay so that's exciting news so let's do a video checkup on crypto corner in about six months and see where it is what is your prediction six months from now what for Bitcoin it's still gonna be halved mm hmm price that's my prediction okay <laughs> still I predict <laughs> it does I it would, okay usually what happens after the halving it goes up right long term yeah and then they look at graphs from previous graphs and they try to figure how much yeah. it goes up exactly so the pay past two graphs as i was brushing up before the channel past two times six months after the average of the two it's going to go about 79 80 percent of from say sixty two thousand. so we're looking at 100 110 thousand dollars per bitcoin six months from now 120 110 110 thousand per yep coin. between 100 and 110 between six months from now that's based on the last two having post cycles we got the average of the two we shall see and i saw this lady on the news because they were covering somebody who was a big investor advisor i mean big investor mm. advisor and that person said something to the tune of bitcoin's gonna be bigger or is bigger than gold bigger than gold okay let's analyze that statement well for the I'll audience well, offhand people buy gold i mean they buy it and they hold on to it and they watch the price go up and it goes up but steady what but makes it slowly gold? that's the question for the audience what it's not makes... scarcity it's like like all the gold is kind of out there and when people buy it they like sit on it mm -hmm. and it's like a stable their money is safe historically it's been around for five let's say five thousand years historically the last five thousand years has been accepted as a store of value the difference today is we have internet and electricity in 21st century we have new ways it's been around longer than that oh yeah like probably super ancient. but it's been accepted in but gold coin gold in yeah five thousand years so now a value. why she made a statement that bitcoin will be bigger than gold well it is the new digital age bitcoin has been around for only 14 years and it's already been at two to three trillion dollar market cap now we're expecting that market well, when did bitcoin start it was like 2010 2009 2009 okay so at, at first it's like absolutely like air like the token it's like nothing and then in the very beginning it's like 0.002 cents per yeah, coin two cents yeah they were just trying to get where they could sell make a transaction buy something for bitcoin they were trying to get it to that they buy like two or three pizzas or something at one point two pizzas for ten thousand bitcoins ten thousand bitcoins for two pizzas as an experiment yes yeah. and there's and many it, interviews they were trying to do a transaction look we made a transaction the link to the bitcoin pizza interview will be posted below check it out i'll share it with you okay for the audience because then so I know. um uh, i have to figure out how to do that <laughs> just put it underneath the link really small and then when it catches on and has it has a stable 
scarcity. But when it has a demand, that's when people pay more on that day trade market and then the price goes up. It's just called trading, yeah. Yeah, well it's like the supply and demand curve you see in Economic 101. Yeah, yeah. So what, um, why she said it'll be bigger than gold because... Because the price is going up. Yeah, because... The market price. Yeah, value. Michael Saylor is the largest, one well, of the largest Bitcoin holders in his, co in his company that, is, that he controls, CEO. MicroStrategy, he has, he owns 1% of all Bitcoin right now, one, and there's only 21 million, so he owns 1 million, he more than that. A million Bitcoin. He owns own more than that. But you know, 1%. like, when people think of cryptocurrency, they're like, oh, it's funny money or something like this because they don't know, and it goes up and down, so you don't know if it's going to be worthless or something, mm -hmm. and gold is stable, but people are trusting to invest in and hold on to as store of value Bitcoin and it's going to be ex big money and because it is this everyone's FOMOing to it they want to have fear of missing out they want to buy more what else you brought this up so I think I'll let security you... yeah. what it's because she said it's backed by nothing because this lady was a commentator on investments. And so she took the comment of bigger than money and said, well, tell us about Bitcoin. And she answered, well, you see, the thing is, he's always never backed by anything mm -hmm. anyways. It's never backed by anything. And the, she's talking about volatility, the market going up or not. So never invest more than you can lose, which is a good basic thing to do. You know, you don't want to lose your house or car and just like just a little bit, you can afford it. But she was saying that, um, uh, she Moderate, was saying, moderation for search. She was saying that, uh, I, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> she was saying that, um, that there was nothing backing it up. Mm -hmm. And it has no security in that way. See, like money, our dollars used to be backed by gold. Everyone seems to know that now. And then after, what, the 70s, it's, it used to be called the petrol dollar because America was strong in buying in petroleum from OPEC and it was all these connections of that. So they call it the petrol dollar. And the dollar is just backed by the stability of the U.S. saying it's legal tender. That's it. It's not literally backed by anything. So yeah, to expand on that, good job. Expand on that. I gotta get something that's beeping in the background. Oh. Be right back. Yeah. What is Bitcoin backed by? What is the United States dollar backed by? Well, in 1972, President Richard Nixon temporarily suspended the United States dollar off of the gold reserve. So at that point, it became backed by basically petrol or United States military. It was backed by the United States government. In God we trust. In God we trust. In faith. <laughs> we have in faith in the, the government, government we trust. So it's, the dollar is backed by the United States government. That's it. There's no physical... So that's it. $32 trillion or whatever that we're in now. $34 trillion gold stashed away in, in an account. We do have $9 trillion worth of gold current market price the United States has, but we don't have fully... It's We're not backed by gold. What is Bitcoin backed by nothing right it's backed by you can expand on this you know the bitcoin is backed by the security of the people well technically it's notes. not backed by anything but in actuality it's backed by the people who believe in the technology there's millions of nodes around the world that mine bitcoin that protect record these transactions that take place on the bitcoin blockchain there's millions and millions of them and it's more and than millions of miners yeah it's, it's more backed than... by that faith of the autonomous network see it's not just a bunch of people having faith in bitcoin like a tinkerbell going like if you believe in me believe peter penn say believe and i'm fading away it's not just a bunch of people believing it's all those people using all those nodes keeps that ledger of the blockchain there permanently as long as humans are still doing stuff that ledger will be there as long as there's electricity left <laughs> The ledger will be there as a basic humanly permanent yep. ledger. And that's mm -hmm. the value of the blockchain. Mm -hmm. The market value goes up with demand. Mm -hmm. When people want to buy Bitcoin, the price will go up because they're buying more of it. Yes, and yes, yes. So let's talk about the use cases. Use. Happening in the blockchain space and the AI. We're mostly talking about the blockchain. Blockchain, Bitcoin went through three different 
clear phases. It went through peer-to-peer -peer where we believe and we make videos and we trade it, right? Because we believe in one another. So peer-to-peer -peer first. And there's a lot of altcoins that do that peer-to-peer. -peer. Second phase is the uh, very difficult merchant adoption. That's where the small business owners, people like you now who have small businesses, believe in one another and they start partially, keyword, and optionally adopting using of this alternative digital currency such as Bitcoin or in, Odua coin. Insert another word for belief might be confidence in. confidence in the network some confidence in doing that you yeah confidence good in word yeah. yeah confidence in the network i'm talking about specifically what's just close to my heart is odua odua blockchain how do you spell that odu odu w a w a so odu w a w a odua coin <laughs> and it has its own blockchain just like bitcoin it's much smaller it's ticker on the um it's up o w c you can go and do coin market cap or coin gecko and type in o w c you see it's a micro cap and when you go to Odua explorer or do explorer.com you will see the many nodes there's about 50 uh 60 plus decentralized nodes around the world that are keeping track of these transactions that take place on the blockchain it's a, it's still in an experimental phase created by mit but it's being slowly adopted by the merchants that's the second phase which is hard to adopt it's having the confidence of these nodes of these people are confident in using it it's a usage the more transactions people use it the better it means it's growing so the network effect so i'm hopeful that odua will have a network effect just as bitcoin did odua has already uh, 900 stakers in the pool staking pool where they hold the coins and get rewarded for it so there's already faith and confidence that the staking which is up to 10 percent Mm -hmm. You can get up to, stakers can get up to 10%, right? This down, up to 10%. The confidence in the network is growing. It's a use case. Uh, so it's going through the second phase, merchant adoption. Now, let's jump to Bitcoin, forward yeah. to Bitcoin. And staking, like mining, but different. Staking, you get the reward. Correct, up to 10%. Let's jump forward to Bitcoin. Bitcoin has already gone through peer-to-peer -peer adoption, 2009, 10, 11, 12. Phase one. Uh -huh. And now it's gone through merchant adoption, phase two. B2B, phase two. 2012, 13, 14, and so going on there. And now it's going, just started going through phase three, institutional adoption. These are like ETFs by BlackRock, by all these big fiduciaries with trillions and trillions of dollars in assets in their accounts. That's when big corporations trust or have confidence in using it. Bitcoin. What I foresee happening in the next decade with Bitcoin, of course, it's going to be half a million dollars after in, in, in 2030s. That's more than gold. Half a million dollars per Bitcoin. So it's going to be much bigger than it would be about, uh, what is it now? It's 50, say 50,000 times 10. So it'll be about, it'll be about $25 trillion. So it'll be about twice the size of Bitcoin. Uh, what? Bitcoin will be about twice as big as gold in 10 years from now. Wait, 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 wait. Institutional what adoption. What is 50? What were you multiplying that went to trillion? So I just did 10x, Bitcoin 10x. Let's Bitcoin's see what... Bitcoin's at what, 62,000? Yeah. 62,000. So you go, and let me show you how you do this. <laughs> you go to see? Bitcoin having for the audience and you go to market capitalization. You know that Bitcoin market capitalization... 2.3 trillion only, Bitcoin. It's only 1.3 trillion. 1.3 trillion. trillion. In Bitcoin. At sixty thousand, right? Sixty-two thousand. So, so you're going times ten x from there. So it's going to be uh, ten trillion. Will be yeah. It'll be roughly 13. the same size as gold, whole gold market. Now Wait, let's is it how, how many times? Ten times. Ten times. So one point three. So thirteen. Yeah. So let's take a look at gold market cap. Twenty point four. So gold market cap right now is at 15 trillion, 15 trillion. okay? Gold is at 15 trillion. Mm -hmm. 15 trillion. And gold. Bitcoin is at 1.3 trillion right now. 1.3. So it's gonna be roughly 10X, so 13 trillion. So it'll be roughly the same as gold in, if gold stays the same, that is, or more. Using total 
market capitalization uh, capitalization so what the, everything is worth yeah so i believe bitcoin will be the same market cap as gold 10 years from now it'll catch up a decade from now yeah so 10 years it will literally be as good as gold literally yeah gold, well, as far as, as, far as the, investments yeah yeah so that's in phase three institutional adoption that's how that would work so we'll do a only is between peer-to-peer -peer and merchant it's in that critical i call it chase there's a book written by a wonderful um in, uh, 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 by a wonderful economist and he said closing the chasm it's called closing the chasm the chasm is that big gap between chasm chasm thank you Ages between out. early adapters and early majority early majority is uh, merchants Early majority. So that's the gap. Odua coin is going through that gap now as we speak. So that's a big gap. This Early adoption be merchants. Yes. Okay. Patoof. And uh, Bitcoin was meant to be something to buy commercial transaction, like buy a cup of coffee, buy a slice of pizza. But it never really went there. It went to. It, it has. It has. It, it, it went to there's it, some countries that oh, adopt it went to bullion store value but this is what i'm saying in 10 years from now because these institutions will hold on to the store value it will not be used for transactional but some countries still use it yeah. but yeah that's where the things are heading a dual coin is going to make many many transactions by being something that they that's and a goal, goal, yeah. Person to person, business or merchant to merchant, or business to business, B to B. Correct. So that's 10 year opportunity window for that to happen because it's in the chasm now. And it's going in, the, it's from the chasm to phase two, two, which is merchant adoption. Okay. So you can get a dual coin still in, in, and then use it in stores all, right. over, all over the world. So people get a dual coin now and put it in their staking wallets yeah, and or grow their wealth. There's some place they could go spend it. So they have options. It's limited because it's early phase of stage two merchant adoption, mm -hmm. folks. Remember, it's phase one, peer to peer. Phase two, merchant adoption. Phase three of the economic cycle evolution is uh, institutional adoption. Yeah. So those are the three phases of adoption. In phase two, merchant to merchant is also business to business or B. To B. To B. B to B. Yes, you yep. see that. B to B. There's exchanges called P to B, B to B. We're on that exchange. Peer to peer, B to B, business so, to business. Bitcoin halved in 20 hours. 20 hours, it's going to have. And then how long we wait until we see some recap? Uh, it will be at $110,000 six months from now, I predict. Well, what's the earliest it's going to go up at all? In a month. In a month, something. It's going to go down some more. It'll do something and then go up in a month. So if you have some of that, hold on to it. Yeah. This is a wonderful segment of Crypto Corner. I'm um, pleasure uh, recording for the audience. We will save this and touch base with us, see how good we were with our predictions in six months. Yeah. I might put this up tomorrow. Or not. Soon. Soon. <laughs> Just do good clean editing put it on this one. I'll, I'll add the, clean editing. I'll add the, you know, just fast, you know, there's gas where we sit and look around for five seconds. You just oh, cut out the leaks, gap make you, it, you know, make, That takes yeah, time. But clean editing is quick, quick. <laughs> yeah, put it up in a week. Here, let me send you the video, the link to, we're done. Okay. Aloha. Aloha. Thanks.